with the Heartland Festival Orchestra at the Gateway Building where Igor Stravinsky's A Soldier's Tale will be performed Friday and Sunday afternoon. And it's the story of a man who sells his soul to the devil and then tries to get it back. Great, that sounds good. And we have Alex McCaddy here. He's gonna perform. And Alex, I noticed when you walk in, some people complain about bringing their laptops to and from work every day. How do you carry this around? Do you take it on airplanes ever? Well, it, you could, I mean, but some airplanes are very selective about taking a bass on. So if you can get it on, <laughs> some of the options are turning it upside down and, and, and sticking it neck under the seat sort <laughs> yeah. of thing. But you have to buy a ticket for the bass. You do? Yes, you do. Oh, wow. If, if you can get on. Okay, so tell us a little bit about, um, I mean, about how to play this. I mean, I wouldn't even know how to begin to, to play this instrument. Okay, well, <laughs> um, you might be somewhat familiar with uh, jazz or blues players that play uh, an upright bass, and a lot of times they're just pitching. They don't have a bow in their hand like a fiddler does. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this piece, in these pieces that we're doing, I, I both bow the bass like a fiddle or a violin, and... Um, as well as, as pits, and sometimes there's a combination. There's a waltz movement where I do a very unusual uh, bow pits. What kinds of sound effects can you get with a bass? What kinds of things can you do with this? There's this pizzicato, but there's other things too. Sure, you can do all kinds of things. You can get Show us some, things. some seagull sounds. Uh, you won't hear that in this particular piece, but you get that. Um, you can get lower notes than that. You can retune the bass and, and have very, very low notes. You can go down to nothing if you wanted to. Once I've played a piece that's done that before. Can you get chords? It seems like it would be very difficult to hold chords on this. Uh, you can. It's, you're not going to have the nice clarity of a guitar or, or a piano, obviously, but, but you can do some chording. <laughs> Coming. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. Well, well, I don't know. Do you, do you think? I don't, Daniel. Do you think you could you could maybe give this a shot? You you playing this? Are you, you okay with me touching yeah, this? How sure. much is this instrument? Yeah. <laughs> it's like I, yeah, it's I wouldn't a, want to mess it up. It's a princely sound, probably. Well, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just go ahead and grab the bass? And what you're going to do is is um. You're going to introduce yourself to the bass almost as though you have a handshake. So we're going to turn the bass around. Okay. All right? And you're going to hold it in front of you about a handshake's distance away, right here. Okay. So meet your bass. Good. Right. Good. <laughs> now you can turn the bass around and you're going to put the bass up against you so that this corner goes right here on the inside of your hip. That's right. So, so oh, that's the pizzicato okay. right there. you got a kind of classical style and that's perfectly fine. I want you all to relax, have a little fun, you know, we're not here to impress each other. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get ready. Everyone, come on. There you go. It's beautiful F natural. Perfect. Can you tell I, I have no musical? <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Experience. Sounds good. Well, you want to try bowing? Yeah. Okay. And just rest it against the string. We're going to put it just at the end of the fingerboard and then just pull across. There you go. <laughs> wow. Right. It's a lot of work. It, I mean, you make it look and, and easy, she, but... Well, I've spent thousands of hours working on it. So. That's the idea. I don't know about you, Danielle, but I don't think I'm ever really going to master a musical instrument, period. I don't think I will either. Right. Uh, but there are lots of things going on uh, this weekend. There's Evita at Peoria Players, and that's the story of Eva Perón and her rise from humble beginnings to being the wife of uh, the dictator of Argentina. Okay. There, so there's no Madonna in this one, I imagine? No, there's no Madonna in this one. This is strictly a local effort, so... Uh... <laughs>
Okay. okay. And what do you um, have? We have Wizard of Oz. I love Wizard of Oz. It's the 70th anniversary this year. Will and Noel's 14 is bringing the, the, the whole HD version back to the theater on... High definition yeah. witchery. Yes, on Tuesday at 6.30 because it was so popular last time. So I've heard this is awesome. You see all kinds of things that you never noticed before in the film. So we have David Cook, the season 7 winner of American Idol. He's come to the Civic Center on Thursday and he should be pretty entertaining. He's a popular guy. He can actually play the guitar. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay, so, well, we'll yeah. find out. So we have that going on. We also have a movie opening this weekend, 2012. Do you like disaster movies? I like uh, disaster movies, and I like like ancient Aztec Mayan stuff, and that's what this is based on, right? 2012, everything goes, goes oh, right? Oh, one disaster after another. Just watching the trailer kind of makes me feel a little anxious, but um, it should be a good, really good show. John Cusack. Um, right. What more can I say? <laughs> So that's what's going on this week.